Let's head down to Carroll County for an update on the Delphi murders trial. 21 Alive reporter Meg Rossler, she spent the very long day inside the Carroll County Courthouse. She joins us now live right now. And Meg, what kept court in session so late tonight? Amr, the last juror didn't get called up to the stand until 6, 10 p.m. tonight. We heard from nine witnesses in this afternoon session today. So that's what made court run a little bit long. But I just want to take you through three big takeaways from what happened inside the courtroom today. The first half of the day being videos. We saw videos from the days and hours leading up to the arrest of suspect Richard Allen. The first video being an initial questioning where investigators started asking Richard Allen on his whereabouts on the day that Abby and Libby were killed. And when they started asking questions about searching his phone, his home, he began growing uncomfortable and saying things like, I don't know why you guys start to think that I'm the guy that did this. And in that second video was in when investigators showed him the evidence that linked the bullet found between the girls' bodies to the gun that they seized from his home. And Richard Allen stood firmly on saying there's no way that that bullet could be from his gun and found between the girls. He firmly denied every single accusation there. Now, the second thing being brought up today was prison conditions. All nine of the witnesses had either previously worked or currently work in prisons that Richard Allen was held in following his arrest. And a lot of the witnesses uh, in the prosecution here, they were trying to argue that Richard Allen was being treated just like any of the other inmates inside of these prisons, got the same opportunities for rec time and all of those other things inside of prison. But the defense was arguing that Allen was being treated like the convicts in a high security part of those prisons and Allen wasn't even convicted. They said it was unfair treatment to him. And some witnesses did say that those conditions were tough in the prison cells that Richard Allen was held in. They said his behavior front went from originally what they said to be normal at first to erratic and crazy behavior after a couple months of him being inside one of the prisons. And some witnesses did say that the conditions that Richard Allen was being held in could have potentially led to his mental health deteriorating. And the last thing, I think the biggest thing from today, alleged confessions. In those same testimonies with those prison employees, prison guards, many of them during their testimony said that they heard verbal confessions from Richard Allen and written confessions of him saying that he killed Abigail Williams and Liberty German. Uh, one saying, I'm sorry for what I did. I killed those girls and I, Richard Allen, killed Abby and Libby by myself. Now, those were just a few of those pull quotes. Uh, those again, those prison guards did testify saying they heard several different confessions, but the defense did argue those confessions could have been out of his mental health deteriorating. He was looking uh, for ways to try and get out and potentially could have been yelling through the walls to other inmates in the facility. They did mention also inmates in the same facilities as Richard Allen did harass him sometimes through the walls, yelling certain things at him, which, again, the defense argued could lead to those reasons why he began confessing to killing those girls. And again, I know that is a lot of information, but that is the three big takeaways from what happened inside the courtroom today for day 10 of the Delphi murders trial. And we will be continuing to update you through uh, what is potentially uh, expected to last through another three weeks again here in Delphi. But for now, Meg Rossler, 21 Alive News.